Hey guys, so today I'm going to go over how we can make our very own custom macros that have delays in them that you can call from any blueprint you want. So the first thing we're going to do is right click here in the content browser, go to blueprints, blueprint macro library, and what we want to do is create a object class macro. And the reason we want to do this is because everything underneath it inherits from the object class. So if you can make an object class macro, you can call it from any blueprint you want. So we're going to select object. I'm going to call this object macro. And we're going to open this up. And what we're going to do in here, first right click here and rename this object macro. And what we want to do is put a delay. So if we right click and we type in delay, we see that the only thing that pops up is this task wait delay. Now, according to Unreal, this says this is functionally the same as a standard delay node. Well, not exactly. So let's hook this up. Drag over here, drag this here, and drag this over there. So now we have our object macro. And what I'm going to do now is go and open up one of my player characters. We'll drag off this begin play and search for object macro. And here we have it at the bottom. Now what happens if I compile this? We get an error. And if we click on this, we see that our player character does not like whatever this task wait delay thing is. It says task owner must have a connection. It's not a gameplay task owner interface, blah, blah, blah. So the workaround that I've seen for this then becomes that you go in, where are we at? And instead of making an object macro, we're going to right click here. We're going to go to Blueprints, Blueprint Macro Library. And we're going to make an actor-based macro. So we'll call this actor macro. Now if we double click here, rename this actor macro and now we look for a delay right click type in delay we see we get an actual delay here this is great so we're gonna hook this up and hook this up over here and now we have a macro that has a delay in it now we can go back to our player character delete this sorry that's in the object macro delete this whole thing and then we'll search for actor macro and we'll compile so the player character is alright with this and that's great the only issue with that is because this is an actor based macro if I go into something like a widget and try and call this macro remember it was called actor macro we don't get anything. Now if you'll notice if I type object macro we have the object macro comes up because you can call an object macro from any blueprint. But if I try and compile this oh, oh I forgot I took it out of here. Let me put that delay back. And go back to the inventory. Now try and compile we're going to get the same error. So you can't use delays in an object macro. So how do we get around this? It's pretty simple. You can literally go into any blueprint you want, right click, type in delay. This is an actual delay node. Right click on the delay node and say collapse nodes. And we will call this delay. And what we're going to do is we're going to head into here and you see this looks just like a macro. And we're going to hook this up exactly like we hook up the macros. And we're going to compile. Save. Now I'm going to go back to the event graph here. And all I want to do is click this, control C to copy it. And then I'm going to go into the object macro. 
I'm going to delete this. I'm going to right click. Or sorry, I'm just going to control V. So now I'm going to put this delay into the object macro. And I'm going to hook this up like that. And hook these up. Save this. So now we have an actual delay. If you go in here and double click, this is a real delay inside a macro. This bypasses some of the editor's checks to make sure you don't get errors if you uh, collapse it into a node like that. So now in our object macro, we have this delay, this collapsed delay node. And now we can actually go into our player character, drag off and look for object. So we have the object macro now. And if we compile, no errors. We can also go into a widget blueprint, drag off, look for object macro, compile, and no errors. So there you have it. That's how you can get a delay node into an object macro, which can then be called from any blueprint that you want. All right, guys, hope that was helpful. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, see you guys later.